definitely appreciate that. Um, okay, so here's the second half. Here's what you see. So here's his tweet, and let me zoom in here so I can read exactly what got Camelot in trouble. And this got Camelot banned um, off of you, off of Twitter. This is the this is the statement. Now at Yellow Flash guys who's tweeting Yellow Flash who also got banned. All of this to prevent anyone from finding out that Eliza Blue faked her entire backstory to profit off of victims over a screenshot of a public video. And we were gonna we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go pretty deep on this video today. How long are you gonna let this go, Elon Musk? Looking a lot like nothing else has changed at Twitter. Literally just calling him out and asking for accountability and stating facts. Fact: Yellow Flash was 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 banned. Other fact, Eliza Blue's backstory does not add up. We'll go to the timeline, right? And number three, the screenshot was of a public video. It was a video that was publicly available on YouTube. It has been taken down, but at the time and when this when the photos were captured, it was public. And it also remains, at the end of the day, not the property of Eliza Blue. And I think where this started and where I wanted to go back to, and, and I don't know if you've seen these tweets, but I think it goes back to these. Have you seen these original tweets where she was threatening the lawsuits? Yeah. Yeah. That's the one that uh, got the, the uh, whatchamacallit on it, um, fact check. This one. Yeah. Yes, it so, is. Yeah. So them saying, you know, a non-consensual photo of me was posted. And obviously we've gone into that. I went into that on Anna's stream that this photo was public. This photo was absolutely, uh, this absolutely not non-consensual. Um, and she's saying, I'm preparing to escalate to the full extent of the law. And then she continued that Twitter did an outstanding job and they will be excluded from legal action, right? I'd encourage my enemies to study the law. <laughs> I have been for many years. It might stop you from making rookie mistakes in the future. I love when people who are not lawyers decide to try to, to try to play it on TV. Um, mm -hmm. That, you know, they opened up, they, they Google searched. You know, and that was enough for them to decide that they can now sue for something. Well, you know what's funny? On that tweet thread, I actually ratioed her. So I had commented before she blocked me. And I think her tweet has like over 2 million views on it. And mine only had like 100K. And I had 6,000 likes and she only has like a little under 5,000. So I was like, people can see through your bullshit, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they really can. They really can. They can see it. This is complete crap. And um, there was a, I think, I can't, I couldn't find it um, out there, but there was a podcast that uh, where Eliza said back in the day uh, that World Star and going on the World Star music video was the best thing for her. You know, she said, this is the biggest opportunity for me to get out there. This is the biggest way for me to expose myself. I'm never going to be on VH1. I'm never going to be on Billboard. I'm never going to do this. Mm -hmm. So th this is good. So I'm thankful for World Hot, World Star Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. right? I listened to that tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to find the original. I know um, some other folks have played it. I think Tug played it and a couple other folks. I was trying to find the original of that one. Uh, but it was clearly her and clearly her saying, hey, I'm grateful for this. This is something that like made me bigger. Uh, Potentially criminal. I've been studying the law for decades. <laughs> Everybody on Twitter. <laughs> Everybody on Twitter, especially especially law Twitter, which is mostly made up of non-lawyers who think they're lawyers. Um, so yeah, so she, she was thankful for that, um, but yet now claims, hey, this is something that's non-consensual. Bullshit. Um, yeah, yeah, it's complete bullshit. Um, oh, I, have you seen this... Um, this clip here from Tim Cast. Uh, this was when uh, my, my good friend uh, Hotep was on the other night. Um, but this is just the other night referencing Eliza Blue. Eliza Blue um, hosted, uh, she presented an award at the Grifties, I think 20, the, the first one, if I'm not oh, mistaken. Okay, right. yeah, yeah. Oh, she might win one this time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's on the list now. She's, she's, she's ranking up. I mean, people are spamming the chat and the super chat. Are they? About yep. Eliza Blue. Yep. Oh, he fi that's when he finally acknowledged it. He finally acknowledged it. Beanie Man finally acknowledged it. Well, I think it was getting to the point where like the super chats are going crazy because I know you brought this up. I think his editor or producer. His um, producer, the woman that books guests is like 
friends with Eliza and was saying how she's not going to invite Brittany Venti on because people were tagging her saying, hey, you should invite Venti on since you had Eliza on, invite Brittany. And she's like, sorry, we're booked. But what was her beef with Venti? Can you explain that? Because I know you know, I don't follow your girl beefs. Right? And I, I barely do. I try to not follow girl beef, but apparently she you is. Know them, she, I know now I know she's <laughs> with uh, a few other girls that hate Britney. And so she's, and she's responding to those other girls that hate Britney. And someone that I know that used to live in the temple house that knows her has confirmed that she hates Britney. So this is one of the things about being a girl is sometimes guys aren't like this, which is super chill, but girls, there's some girls that have to be the only girl in the group. And they don't like it when there's other girls in the group, especially ones that are maybe prettier than them, more articulated, have a better, bigger followings than them. Girls don't like that because they feel threatened because they're not secure. A lot of women are extremely insecure. And then they take that out on other women. And so that's why I guess she wasn't threatened by Eliza. So Eliza was on the show. You don't have Brittany on. I mean, er I think everyone here that follows you probably as common sense. So I don't really need to be saying that, but basically no, no. my, my chat definitely knows that fact that the girls get jealous of other girls and they're the first ones to be the haters, right? Oh the, yeah. The haters, the haters are always the ones that try to disqualify the other girls. They're like, Oh, this girl's a hoe or this girl's this, or, you know, if it's political and you're on the right, they'll be like, Oh, she's really a liberal or she's really woke or whatever. They try to disqualify you or like Anna doesn't, isn't really into star Wars enough. Right. You know, oh, it's like, the, yeah. <laughs> no, oh my, I feel like people don't, I feel like so many people simp or guys, dumb guys, no offense. Yeah, I know, like, look, even Elon simps for crazy fucking women. So it's well, like, but I mean, at least here's the difference though. Here's the difference though. At least he's probably smashing. Like, yeah. <laughs> at least he is probably smashing because it doesn't really count as simping if he's just doing it to smash, right? Like, he, he's mm -hmm. like sliding in, smashing. He did it with Amber Heard, right? He cle he he clearly fucked Amber Heard, right? And, and I think they had a three way. Oh, concern, of course. Oh, they have right? videos of him like on an elevator. Right. You stuff, don't come right? to somebody's room in the middle of the night not to fuck at three o'clock in the morning, like in an elevator to her apartment while she's dressed in a blanket and she's naked underneath. In like, Johnny Depp's apartment too, like. Cuckle doodle do, baby. I I know, but. <sighs> Well, no, but so, like, when it comes to this drama, like, none of the, I feel like women are like, oh, guys are mean, but guys never do it out of spitefulness the way that women do. Well, women are extremely spiteful, and women are super, super mean to other women. I mean, just look at what Eliza's doing. She's taking all full force of Twitter's power just to silence people, and... It's kind of my mowing, but basically hoes be crazy, hoes be mad, and Britney's not going on Timcast because girls don't like her. Yeah. I mean, essentially. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, essentially that's where it's at. It's like, it's like this woman doesn't like her, may feel threatened by her, may not like her. And look, like I, I know people that have come to me and said, I don't like X person, right? Like I don't yeah. like, I don't like Nick. I don't like, you know, people say I don't like me, whatever, right? That's cool. That's your right. Don't watch my content. But <laughs> Like, just don't watch my content. I literally don't give a shit. But that doesn't mean that somebody who you don't like deserves to be censored. Well, well, I think it's funny because if, um, like, if the quartering would have been the one to call her out, of course they would have the quartering on. If Riketa would have called her out, they would have Riketa on. But I think it's a problem because 